The ancient Egyptians believed that the dead lived on in the next world, and that for this reason their bodies should be preserved forever. They believed that the body would serve a person in the next world, and therefore spent much effort in developing methods of embalming, or keeping the tissues of the body from decaying. The process used by the ancient Egyptians for preserving or mummifying bodies involved several steps, and according to ancient texts, took 70 days. The process was simple when mummifying began, and gradually became more elaborate. Wealthy people could afford a more expensive treatment than the poor. What follows shows how the bodies of wealthy people were mummified after about 1750 BC. First, the embalmers used a hooked instrument to remove the brain piece by piece through a nostril. Next, they used a sharp stone to cut an incision in the left side of the abdomen. Through the incision, they removed most of the internal organs, including the intestines, stomach, liver, and lungs, but not the heart. In many cases, the embalmers filled the empty abdomen and other body cavities with linen pads, oils, spices, and resins. They plugged the nose with wax. They then placed the body in a powder known as natron, a mineral that contains baking soda and salt, until the tissues were dried out. Finally, the embalmers wrapped the body carefully in many layers of linen bandages and placed it in a coffin. Sometimes there were two or more coffins, one inside the other. The coffins were made of wood or stone and were either rectangular or shaped like the wrapped mummy. The mummy in its coffin was then placed in a tomb along with many objects of daily use. The Egyptians believed that the dead would need this equipment in the next world.